Alan Grayson did not win the Senate primary, and his wife, Dina Grayson, did not win his former congressional seat tonight. She faced tough candidates, including Darren Soto. Soto won and will now face a Republican in November for the U.S. House District 9 seat. Taking a look at tonight's results for District 9 on the GOP side, you can see Wayne Leibnitzky won with 68% of the votes. Wanda Rentas had 32%. Now, here are the results on the Democrat side. Darren Soto, 36 percent, and Susanna Randolph with 28 percent there. News 6 investigator Mike Holfeld is joining us live from Kissimmee now, where the Graysons are or have been this evening. Mike, it might be a quiet ride home in the Grayson car. I think so, but they, they lost graciously, to be honest with you. Good evening, everyone. They left it about... I'd say just before 9 o'clock, and they knew it was over, I saw Alan Grayson look over to his parents and say, we're going to leave in about 10 minutes. But first, let's talk about Darren Soto. The former state senator is, frankly, one step closer to Capitol Hill. And as you might imagine, there was some celebrating, and our cameras were there. Take a look with me. Uh, this was the scene in Kissimmee, actually, not far from where we are right now. Soto's celebrating a solid victory over Dr. Dina Grayson and Sarah Randolph. What did he have to say? Well, let's listen. We feel ecstatic. It's been a 14-month race. As I mentioned before, I, we made some promises that we would keep it positive and inspirational and work very hard. And even though some other folks took a turn for the negative, we kept our promise. And that was very important to me, especially in this, this nasty political climate. We need members who are going to shine through and help solve our country's problems going forward. You know, it's funny, even before the numbers started rolling in tonight, Dina Grayson told me she knew Soto would be tough, and she was optimistic because she thought a strong voter turnout could deliver her a victory. Unfortunately, it didn't play out that way. Her thoughts now. Your reaction looking at the numbers. Well, Mike, we, again, we ran a very positive campaign. There was $600,000 of sewer money that came into my race. Uh, that certainly did its damage. That was all really directed at defeating me because I was winning. Um, you know, that we fought a great fight. We played it fair. Uh, we focused on the issues of Central Floridians. Both the Graysons told me they got another fight in them. They both say, yep, they'll probably be back. But for now, they're going to enjoy a honeymoon. Live from Kissimmee, Mike Holfeld, back to you. All right, Mike, thank you.